What's up guys, today I want to create a quick video going over OpenAI Whisper. Whisper is an open source speech to text model that approaches human accuracy on the English language. However, the model also supports translation, so someone speaking French could also use this model. If you are interested in learning more about the technical details of the model, go ahead and check out the blog post. The link will be in the description. Here you can read the blog post and read the paper if you are so inclined. On the website, they have a few examples and some of them are very, very impressive. So let's go ahead and listen to them now. Here's one with speed talking. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. Here Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket place that says a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect. I'm sure that many of you probably missed a few words here and there. We also can do things like K-pop, so music as well. Other options include French and accent. If you're interested in hearing those examples, go ahead and go to the blog. But since you're watching this video, you likely want to run this model on your own. And so let's get into that. Here we have the Git repo for OpenAI Whisper. Setting up the project is pretty easy. You just copy and paste this command here and pip install it. Uh, and if you have some issues, they also give you some insight on how to fix those issues. There are a total of nine models. There are tiny, base, small, medium, and English versions of them only, and then the multi-language versions of those, and then large is only is for multi-language. Scrolling down a bit more, they have some command line usage, so you have to load in WAV files and run them and how you can use it in Python if that interests you. But for this video, I'm going to give a demo on how to actually use the model live with a microphone. So to run the interactive demo with the microphone, go ahead and go to my Git repo, which is the Whisper Mic repo. So with regards to requirements, the model may or may not work with just a CPU only. I have not tested that. Uh, theoretically, it could work, especially for the tiny ones, but uh, I've been running it with a GPU, so I can say that if you have a GPU, it will work. With regards to actual software setup, you need to go ahead and create a virtual environment of your choice. I use Anaconda, and we'll walk you through that. And then after that, you just need to run pip install r requirements.txt and you should be good to go. In addition to some virtual environment software, you're going to need to have git installed. So if you don't have git installed, go ahead and look up how to do that. But assuming you have a virtual environment ready and git installed, let's now proceed to git clone and set everything up. So I've gone ahead and opened up a terminal. If you're on Windows, you're gonna to wanna to hit the window key and type in PowerShell. But now let's go ahead and git clone it. Let's go here, drop down, copy the HTTPS, and now we want to go ahead and paste it. So we're gonna do git clone and then paste it. And now it is cloned into Whisper Mic. So we're gonna do CD, which is change directory, CD, Whisper, mic. If you're on Windows and using PowerShell, you can go ahead and copy my CD commands. If you're using Command Prompt, you need to go ahead and replace CD with dir. Now that we're in the Whisper Mic folder, we need to go ahead and create a virtual environment. I'm using Anaconda, so if you are also using Anaconda, you can copy what I do after properly installing it. So to do that, we type in conda create dash n, which is the name of the environment. And then I use Python 3.9. And if you copy this, you will also use Python 3.9. So let's go ahead and hit enter and then wait for things to get set up. It's going to ask us if we want to install some packages. We're going to say yes. And now we're going to go ahead to enter it we go ahead and activate it. So we do conda activate whisper. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And now we're inside the virtual environment. So now the only step with regards to installation is to run the pip install command. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do pip install dash r requirements.txt. 
We'll do that, and it's going to get everything set up for us. And it'll take a minute or so, so I'll go ahead and come back when it's finished. So now everything is installed, and we can go ahead and run the demo. But first, let's go ahead and look at the options that we have for running the demo. So let's go ahead and write python mic.py. And we want to see what flags we can run. So let's go ahead and just type in help. And we can see the options here. So the first option is to pick what model we want to run. By default, we run the base. But if you want better results, you want to go up to large. But as we can see in this table, the requirements increase and the performance with regards to time to compute increases as the model gets bigger. Next, we see the English flag. This will tell us whether or not we want to use the English model only. The reason you may want to do that is because if you just are handling English inputs, the English model will likely perform better. Verbose will print more information when using the demo. By default, it'll just print the text, but if you wanna see more information, go ahead and use that flag. Energy is the threshold, basically, in which the mic needs to hear before registering your voice. It is at 300 by default. And I find that if it's overly sensitive, you can double it. Or if it's having a hard time hearing you, you can lower that. Dynamic energy dynamically adjusts the energy threshold before the program registers that you are speaking. I had issues with it, uh, but if you want it to learn roughly how loud it should be before it registers your input, you can go ahead and use that. But by default, I leave it to false and we just use the set energy level. Pause is how long after you stop speaking before it go ahead and processes your speech. If you may take big pauses, you may want to increase that, but by default it's at 0.8. So now that we know what our options are with regards to the flags, let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to run it with the large model. So let's do Python mic and then we're going to do dash dash model large and uh, let's keep everything else to the default. I'll go ahead and run it again after this with verbose just to show you, but let's go ahead and do this now. So it took a minute or so, but now the model has loaded. If it's your first time running, you'll have to download it, of course, but now the program should be working and we can see the transcription of our speech. So it actually recorded me speaking while I'm recording the video. So it's actually a pretty perfect demo. We see that it almost got it perfectly. You can go ahead and pause and read it if you want. But right here, first time learning, that should be using, but I think it got every other word right. And, you know, let's see what how it does here. Here, it actually got everything right except an extra U. So, great. Let's go ahead now and run it again with the large model, but with the verbose output. So this is all the potential information you could get from the model. And to do this, we'll just do verbose and let's go ahead and run it. So here we are running it with the verbose flag. And after I stop speaking, let's see what it said. So here we can see the text like we did before, but we also can see things like segments, which if using in a WAV file rather than using a microphone, would be very exciting because you could see that someone said, you know, sentence one between five seconds and 10 seconds. And they said sentence two between 13 seconds and 18 seconds. And using that, you could tie information from say a video, the audio of the video and use that in video analysis, which for me is why I'm really excited about this model. But I just wanted to point that out. There's also a whole bunch of information such as tokens, um, and other information you can read more about if that interests you. This longer output just recorded what I spoke, and in fact, you can kind of see what I was saying with the segments here. It's a, a jarbled mess right now, but if you go ahead and pause and take a look, you can see that it's broken up by segments, and you can see that there's different starts and end times. I obviously spoke for longer than six seconds, so there's a whole bunch of those and that is uh, very exciting. Last thing I wanna do is go ahead and just show you how much VRAM I'm using. So on my 3090, I'm using almost 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So keep that in mind when you're trying to pick which model size to run. It runs very quickly. So I have no complaints on that on my 3090, but I just wanted to show that.
So I just wanted to briefly comment on the potential uses of this. Using this model, I feel like someone like myself could make their own version of an Alexa. You would just have another keyword, let's just say like computer. And once it sees the keyword being said, you would then just take the information after the keyword and then pass it on to another pipeline. For example, let's say we combine this model with a model like BERT for sentence classification. This model would detect your keyword and whatever else you're saying, and then BERT would take the remaining context after the keyword and classify it to some intent that you already programmed. Once BERT classifies what you are telling the computer to do, you really can do anything. So you could have a drone, and when you say, you know, computer go up, the drone could fly higher, or you could say, you know, turn around, and the drone will turn around. So once you have a BERT classification model that works well, you can do pretty much anything with your voice now, which is pretty exciting. At this point, I'm going to end today's video. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. For chats about technology, as well as technical help, consider joining the Discord. If you would like to work with me on a project using this new model, feel free to contact me through my email or my website. Thank you so much for watching and please have a great day.